Okay, today's update is going to be about the plan book. Uh, I've been working. I haven't done too many updates actually because I've been working hard on the on the plans and things to make. Right. It's this is a tetrahedron. You think it may be too simple for most things, but this is the core of a lot of different things you can build. Uh, you can build it small or you can build it large, like this one. Um, it's a very important structure because it demonstrates. Uh, the strengths of the wanger flanges on a uh, let me just show you the top on this type of joint you can see that it all fits together I haven't shown bolts on here and um, but we've you've got to put a pencil end on the uh, struts and the thicker these struts are you could go thicker than this but you need to put a pencil on so a pencil end on so that um, they don't bind but uh, that's the first one uh, I would also recommend that everyone who gets wanger flanges uh, starts out with, with this project. It's very simple, six struts, all exactly the same length. So it's super easy to build, but it will it shows you it will demonstrate how strong you can make structures and um, how simple they can be, as well as uh, giving you ideas about um, how things go together. Next up, obviously, is the cube. Now, a cube on its own isn't structurally stable. It will flop about. So this one has been triangulated. And if you look closely, you can see that it's a, an, an advance on the last one. The tetrahedon shown in the round struts is inside the cube. And that's the minimum amount of cross bracing you need. If you look, If you look carefully, every single face has one cross beam this now is a cube that's stable you could use you could make this in any size the plans again will show you any size uh, a lot a variety of different sizes and a variety of things you can do with it you could convert this into coffee tables uh, put a wooden top on it and you can have it a, a tabletop again you could make a long thin one we uh, in the plans we'll show you a number of things but that it only counts as one item because it, it's the cube shape but it's reinforced with the tetrahedron Next up, another piece, piece of furniture. Uh, this is actually an octahedron. This is the um, a, just a pure octahedron. You could use this for loads of different things, but it, if it does make handy furniture, uh, it'll lie flat on the ground, and it's got an area for a flat top. Uh, it, you could make all of these. Um, struts that are going up from the ground longer and it'll still work so you could you can you could uh, make this much taller or you can make it wide and fat but this is all equal length this one so this has got let me just quickly look one two three four five six seven eight twelve lengths of um, stick in this one again in the plans we'll show you a number of different things and some calculations on how to make your own sizes uh, next up, this we're getting into just this is the basic sketch now. They're not these are not filled out yet. Uh, this would be a TP. This is one of the most simple structures you can build. If we look, count the um, struts: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight struts um, with a wang of, with two wanger flanges on each on one end. Uh, you would just put a tie around the bottom. So that means there's 16 wanger flanges, which is uh, hardly any. And that will produce a very sturdy, because it's pointy, a very sturdy, strong structure. Oh, next up we have, uh, as it's Christmas is around the corner, we've got a star. This would be made, you could make this any size, obviously, but uh, I'm thinking about um, something that would go indoors. You know, maybe two or three feet tall, possibly. Um, this is just a stick drawn for now. This is how we start. We start with the, a line drawn, and then we fill put the wanger flanges on and then fill in the stick with the tube or square piece of wood as we uh, as needed. This will probably be metal tube. Uh, hoping to get this built before Christmas. Okay, another one for Christmas. Uh, this is a little heart, just as a simple, fairly simple um, three. Uh, 
Uh, this this greenhouse is nearly finished. I've got the I've made the base now for this one. This one's underway. You might have seen the video for this one. Um, this one will go in the plan book, but it's quite a complex build. So I would say range start at the beginning of the book, and this will work done on the real version of this. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, that's a sort of a sneak peek of the plan book. And um, the full list is tetrahedron, cube, octahedron. Icosahedron, which I haven't shown you on here. Uh, dodecahedron. Again, the dodecahedron's like the um, cube in that it's not a stable form in itself. So you either have to make it stable or um, do something to stabilize it, really. Uh, the TP structure, small TP. Um, again, that's very simple. You just have uh, a very few wang flanges. Heart decoration, heart decoration. We, I'll probably do something in zones. Something basic in zones, a two frequency dome, possibly a three frequency. Not sure if it's uh, if that's a great idea yet. Um, the space frame truss that I made, um, some garden uh, things like uh, climbing frames or a moon gate, something like that. That gives you an idea where we're going. If anyone has any um, ideas of other things that you'd like me to build uh, and put in the plan book. Um, I'm trying to pull this together because we've only got like five days left on Kickstarter. So I'm trying to get this together um, as, as much as I can. So I, you, you've noticed that some of the plans are finished and some of them are um, underway. So I've got to finish them all and um, get it up to 20. Um, so there's a there's space for any ideas yet if you want. Uh, let me know what anything that you think might be cool. Um, Right, I've got to fly. I'll catch you in the next one.